Hi guys, welcome back, Sim UK here. We are going to continue with our fantastic fishing North Atlantic career and uh, we're at Dennis Point at the moment and uh, we should have, I'm just going to check all this because I've just loaded the game up, two crew members on board, check, and we should have some deep lines and we don't have any deep lines. Where have all my deep lines gone? That's a bit irritating. Okay, I'm going to buy 10 of those, I'm going to bait them, and I'm going to, I'm going to shell out 90 grand, 90 grand on a brand new engine, just for fun. Okay, let's get ourselves sorted out. See, I'm using the wheel today. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you go check it out. That was agonizingly close. We're very much going to chill out and enjoy the ride. Having a wheel on board definitely makes things more interesting. Thanks to that. Gives it that little immersion kick that the game lacks at times. Right, let's have a little look see here. Where are we going to go? What are we going to? What are we going to look for? So uh, we were out here. We found loads of swordfish and stuff. So maybe we should head out that way if I can uh, get some points on the go and check out some of these ports up here. A few small islands there. Nothing particularly serious to uh, concern ourselves with. One crew member out on the deck just standing there waiting to do his job. That's absolutely fine. A few small islands just, just peeking over the waves every now and then. Paying attention for that, we should be fine, and at the end of the day, not that big a boat, so we'll probably be fine if we went over the straight, the, straight over the top of them. So this new engine is absolutely tanking it. 24 knots, look at this, bloody hell. I didn't think it was possible. So I can see there's um, a lighthouse over there. No doubt uh, designed to keep people safe on these shallow waters. But if you look at the map, the radar, and you know, obviously the, the radar on the left is showing us that we're in very shallow water. The radar on the right is showing absolutely nothing at all. We are perilously close to that island right there. And uh, according to the map, nothing there at all oh, until we get until we get right on top of it which will probably be too late in most circumstances it's actually quite deep here next to this island it's just a rock by any other name yeah I'm, I'm glad I put the engine there uh, upgrade on this is a fantastic boat I absolutely love this boat and um, yeah now we're a fast boat as well which is beautiful we are at maximum throttle absolutely maximum throttle and that's fine I'm 
the steering wheel to be uh, a little bit more responsive. I think the uh, the dead zone might very well be on the wheel itself rather than in the game. I think it's on the wheel itself because I've got it up to like I've got it up to like 35% uh, and uh, ooh, shallow water again very shallow water yeah it's up to 35% and we're still having this this dead zone so uh, probably probably needs calibrating in windows very very old system I bought it secondhand 10 years ago something like that so uh, I'm hardly surprised if it's behaving a bit a bit oddly I've got a, a camera on today showing the wheel usage so I'm very much hoping you can see that but I don't know if you can or not um, unfortunately on my, on my screen I could show you using the camera but that might not work um, on, on the screen itself I can't see the camera for whatever reason so uh, I don't know if the camera is actually recording or not Looks like we've got um, a fellow fisherman out here. He may even be rocking the same boat as us. Kind of cool. I'm find a button. Nice. Now I can close the hut anytime I like. That does look pretty cool, doesn't it, guys? Pretty cool. I just, I just hope and pray that Misc games are encouraged to turn this into more of a simulator. All the groundwork is there. The potential this game has to be a simulator is awesome. Oh, it's the first time I've seen clouds nice so clouds do exist okay so just recalibrated this controller and uh, the dead zone is still there so I just think it's an old old system it's an old device, it's got it's made out of bungee cords and bits of plastic really. I tell you what though, it's driven all over Europe this thing. <laughs> it's driven from the very north of Britain to the very south of Europe. And vice versa, probably in all directions, shape and form. We are tanking along at a very pleasant rate. A little zoom out on the map. Oh, yes, we're very nearly at our location. So let's uh, do our best. We need some more hotkeys. Having to click on everything is a pain in the ass. I can't do it with this controller. I'm going to have to do it with the mouse. Right, chaps, are you preparing gear? That's good. So you're not hungry, okay, fine. And, uh,. Okay, so, keeping an eye on the old, uh, s 
sonar on the left. Looking out for a plethora of fish. As soon as we hit a hot spot, we're going to drop it. Drop it like it's hot. So there's our chosen waypoint. Interestingly, it doesn't tell us that uh, we've hit our waypoint. Just curious what that is out there, look. I'm guessing it's another ship. It's like, uh, it looks like a boy actually. So we're getting a few more fish popping up on the old uh, sonar. Not quite the free for all that we're hoping for. So we're sort of right on that fault line between shallow and deep. Good area for predators usually. It's where all the smaller fish like to hide. Who's that on the starboard bow? It's actually the port bow, but that's not how the song goes. Let's go have a look. I do believe we got a couple of friends over here, look. If only we had a harpoon on board, we could take them with us. But, uh, I mean, they're definitely here, aren't they? Definitely swimming about. I think that's probably the way you're supposed to do harpooning, is whilst you're out doing other things, if you spot them, you put a marker down, and then you come back to that marker with a harpoon. I have asked the developers to consider the idea that maybe we just have a harpoon on board for exceptional circumstances when we happen to run into a herd of fish, a herd of fish. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get us rolling. And uh, we're just gonna lay some deep lines. I see another boy out there as well. We're going to head north, northwest ish, general direction, and uh, yeah, we're going to try and drop some lines using just the wheel. Could be a little tricky. I'm sure, our friend here is going to help a lot. One in. Of course, he's not. He's not now doing anything in the, in the least bit helpful because you have to tell them to do everything and I don't understand why that is. I assume it's a pain. But I tell you what, with this new engine we are going so fast it's almost a case of just chuck them in straight away. Boom! Next one gone. I don't even think they're at full throttle. take very long at all this
didn't see him in my defense I shouldn't have to be doing this that's why I employ my crew to do this job for me but they just won't do it for whatever reason only assume it's a total bug. So, like a buffoon, I've put 10 in the water. What I meant to do was put 5 in, and then another 5 somewhere else. So there's a lesson learnt. Oh, get my sea legs. Alrighty then. Go to the old map. Oh my god. That's where we're going. And for some reason... Removing the waypoint will create a path that crosses land. How exactly? shallow water to our left. Sneaky bit of shallow water indeed. Okay. Oh, we're going over some shallow water, look. Can we see the bottom? No, not quite. Fellow fisherman, it's here, hello. Well, hello there. There's a button here for a horn somewhere. I don't know where it is on this boat, to be honest. I'd love to see AI on there, just sort of, you know, just doing their thing, doing a bit of fishing. That'd be so cool. Back on track. Goodness me. Dead north. Ah. Okay, what confused me there is that all four of those buttons are the horn. <laughs> I was looking for one button. I thought, well, it can't be those because there's four of them. They must be just for show. But no, it turns out they're actually for the. Uh, they're actually for the thing. What is going on with this bloody thing here? I want to get rid of that one. No, it won't. Okay, 
on my bloody nerves. Uh, how long have they been in the water? Only an hour. It's a, it's a very long way to go. I'm not sure if we're going to get there and get back in time. I'm going to have to keep an eye on how long they've been in the water. If it gets to 10 hours, we'll have to turn around and go back. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if fast travelling uh, makes time pass at twice the speed as well. Possible. See the sun is starting to come down. It's starting to get a little bit late in the evening. Definitely getting late in the day. So how long did it take us to get there? Only two hours. That's surprising because like there to there takes two hours usually. So I definitely think that, um, yeah, I definitely think that, what do they call it? Speed lining? <laughs> That's not what it's called. What's it called? Uh, you know what it's called. Whatever it's called, it obviously adds a lot of time. Speeds time up. to watch another glorious sunset I wonder whether we'll see it before we hit the rocks <laughs> that is a big question and I think the answer is going to be no because those rocks are coming up pretty thick and fast my instincts are to jump into the uh, cockpit right now sun is dipping away. I notice the sun sort of vanishes before it hits the, uh, the horizon line. It seems to do that every single time which is um, interesting. I'm not sure if that's, I'm not sure if it's intentional first of all. I'm not sure if it's accurate or not. I can't really say. I've watched a few uh, sunrises in my time photographed a few as well. And there she goes. And all of a sudden it's a lot darker out here. Which is excellent. Okay, we're going to get some lights on. I'm trying to get some lights on. Is the search light on? I even have a searchlight. Oh, there it is. Give me some sort of emergency warning system if uh, 
for any reason we're heading towards rocks speaking of which we've kind of gone uh, kind of taken our own detour here haven't we okay let's try and take ourselves in that way Just check on these three hours that's fine absolutely no problem with that whatsoever so as long as I stay on track we should be safe but that's how dark it is out there now look this side we've still got some light but over here we've got <laughs> nothing at all brilliant I love it I absolutely love it it's one of the things one of the biggest things I asked for in uh, in fishing Barrent Sea was the ability to um, have really really dark evenings it looks like we finally got them without having to turn the gamma right down which is beautiful I kind of feel like my searchlight is pointing off to the right here now all of a sudden Not quite sure how that's happened be reflections from the boat not sure so anyway I need to get myself uh, back on track here I think this whole flagging system needs to be looked at as well seems a bit clunky it's pro probably supposed to be a particular side of that. Which side, I do not know. But it looks like that's the port up there. Something else in the water in front of us. This game has such qualities. Right, so as I always try and park the the boat up on my right hand side so I can see out the window. Really hard to do it the other way. Guess if you had enough practice you could, but uh, I haven't had enough practice. I've only been driving with the wheel in this game for well, a couple of hours really. I have if I slow down. Oh my god, look how close we are to that. Whoa. Ingalls head discovered. I nearly I nearly ate it. Discovered it. I nearly parked there. For goodness sake. Right, throttle. What have we got on? We need to be on slow. It might help as well if we had some sort of clicking system for the gears, for the throttle rather, so that we can tell when we've gone from uh, one speed to another. I'm a little bit concerned about that, because that seems to be protruding slightly. Oh, that's very close. Very, very close. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at that. Oh, mama mia. It's so much more fun parking up with the wheel. It really is. Whack yourself in first person view and try getting a wheel on the go. It's just fabulous. I love it. Makes the whole experience so much better. That engine off. I can't remember which button is engine off. That one. Brilliant stuff. We are definitely there. Let's go and say hello to everybody. Go to the bar for some tips. Mackerel. Red fish from three days ago. Not too bothered about that. Any missions? Help deliver cargo to another port. 
I wish it would give you some information on that. Oh look, my reputation is junior. Cool. Grab some fuel. I don't want to be running out of fuel, do we? So, I've got 7,000 in the bank, which isn't very much at all. Let's have a look at the map. Let's get rid of these. It's been a bloody nightmare, those things. So how long have they been in the water? 3 hours and 52 minutes. I'm half tempted to go across and see if I can get there. So that took 3 hours and 52 minutes. That's probably only going to take 2 hours. So 5 hours. We could do it, you know. But not if we... Uh, not if we uh, cheat. We can do it if we drive. So let's drive across. Bit narrow there, isn't it? That could be fun. Alrighty. shallow water here look not in a rush to do anything right now okay so I need to stay really tight on our markers this time they are going to drive us out safely. And 11 knots is probably a bit much. I've seen my first marker. Eaten it up. Marker one. Gone. Stay central. And everything else should be fine. Beautiful night. Do you believe we just ate the second marker, which is cool. And it's going to be a dark, dark route across some very deep water. Hey, it'd be nice if we get some, uh, some waves on the go. I not mind seeing that. Haven't really seen any waves at all so far. None of the high rollers we enjoyed in Fishing Barren Sea, they don't seem to be here. I do think, if you look at that red light that we can see there, I get the impression that is coming off of some lights that are on the shore. And if that's the case, then they are definitely travelling too far. There is no way they should be doing that on the water's surface. Oh, there's another one over there, look. Well, I can turn it on and off. Hey, look at the moon. Would you look at that moon?
that is pretty, pretty glorious. And a full moon, no less. Magnificent. Hidden by the haze of the earth. The earth's atmosphere. Right, let's uh, make sure we're still on track, which I think we are.
rocks over there look pretty uh, intimidating, I can tell you. And I know the passage we're going to have to take to get in there is going to be pretty tight. See if I can put some music on. Um, options, audio. Ah, weird. Game, radio station list. Uh, oh, I see. So you can add the URLs there, but I believe. You can play, oh, I thought you could play your own music. Oh, I must have misread that. Yeah. Must have misread that. I thought I was told in an email the other day that uh, you can add your own audio. I suppose I could just play something, couldn't I? In the background, what have we got? 